Topiary Cat, A Bushy Tail Where are you? shouted the old man. I bet I know where you are, he thought to himself. Stooping down by the tall yew hedge, he saw the young lad crouching under the branches with a grey cat at his side. Hi there, you two. Still hiding away from the world, I see. I've come to see your mummy. Is she writing her poems or painting again? I think so, Baba, whispered the boy. Baba was Richard's name for his grandfather. He couldn't pronounce Grandpa properly when he was a toddler, and the name stuck. The cat appeared to nod in agreement, but maybe that was Grandpa's imagination. Baba strode towards the run-down cottage, rang the bell and disappeared inside, leaving the two chums to continue their games. The boy had made a small pyramid of sticks and was pretending to be Davy Crockett, a hero of his that he'd seen at the cinema. He imagined himself to be the king of the wild frontier, seated round a campfire with Tolly, his loyal companion. The fact that this psychic was actually a cat didn't bother him at all. In fact, Tolly was an ideal playmate for a young fellow such as Richard. This Russian blue cat was wiser than any other cat they knew, and seemed to understand this very shy lad's need for company. When Richard was only a few years old, his mother had bought the cat as a companion for her son. Her husband had left them, having decided married life with a young child was not for him. Grandpa worked as a head gardener in the big house up the road. His daughter Katie was artistic and forgetful, so Baba would often call in to see if she was looking after herself and her boy. This time he had called in to offer help. The huge unkempt yew hedge in the front garden was getting a bit out of hand, and he had a plan. At the stately home where he worked, Grandpa was famed for his topiary. The vast estate was full of his most amazing sculpted bushes, pyramids, spheres, peacocks, spirals, and even strange figures. Some were created from box hedges, some from yew, and others from common or garden privet. There was even a great dome of a variegated holly tree, which was magnificent, and a huge cloud topiary on the approach to the house as well. Baba had noted the bond between the quiet boy and Tolly. Something special was going on, and Baba sensed this. He resolved to create something to honour this strangely touching friendship. And Tolly was the perfect subject. However, he wanted this topiary to be just for Richard, and luckily the yew hedge behind the low brick wall in the front garden was the perfect starting point. But he was going to make this a surprise, and anyway, he wasn't absolutely sure he could capture Tolly's unique character in a sculpted foliage. He had seen Katie's sketches of the boy's furry friend and thought they would be perfect reference for the topiary hedge. It wasn't hard to persuade her to part with a couple of her drawings. He just said he loved them and would like a couple to frame for the sitting room of the lodge where he lived nearby. This was at the entrance of the drive to Neffertum Hall. So he simply told Richard's mother that he was just going to trim that hedge for you. It's looking a bit untidy. Don't miss the next chapter of The Topiary Cat, read by Richard Saunders.